This one we are going to talk about the use cases of Kafka and what problems Kafka is trying to solve. So for a while just forget about name Kafka. Let me take you to the problem statement, that scenario uh, in which we need this Kafka. So for this scenario, I want you to assume yourself as a as a CEO of a company and you are about to start a company um, as a founder of a company you can consider yourself and you are about to start a business that business can be anything but for our scenario I'm going to take an application which is like Paytm so how Paytm started its business it started its business from mobile recharge so first application it built was basically recharging the mobile so users were coming request actors were coming so here basically uh, they were filling the form like giving the basic details about mobile recharge and application was responding with success or failure whatever was applicable so this was the basic functionality of this application this application is built and user doesn't have to do anything like uh, not uh, aware of the internals how it is working and all that but as an engineering side uh, if something goes wrong in our application, we need to debug that and for that log analysis, uh, log analysis is a very important part and critical part of our application. So that log analysis application, it can be a third party or in-house also, but log analysis, which analyzes the log logs, puts your logs in a proper place when you search it, it gives you that result. So that, that one is a very important part. So it, whenever user is giving uh, asking for mobile recharge it also needs to send data to the log analysis uh, that that is the very important part from the log analysis there is performance analysis parts which is like entirely different from log analysis uh, it needs to show how much time a request is taking so mobile recharge application uh, can be uh, composed of different microservices is it calling a third party services it needs to analyze that which component is taking how much time so that is performance analysis so each and every service needs to send data there as well on the performance analysis side another part is like notification so that is critical part of the application so whenever recharge is successful or not you get a notification on mobile and email also that is also critical part so it needs to do to that, that as well there can be more functionalities as well but let's stick to this as of now so let's say our business of mobile recharge flourished and we want to expand our business so uh, we uh, explored more areas and now we want to go to the ticket booking and in the ticket booking we I want to start with the movie ticket right at the same time well not actually the same time maybe in the future I started to think of more business and I started doing the bus ticket and train ticket so it is supported there so all of these are business wise they are like different application but on the engineering side log analysis performance analysis notifications are like generic pieces that we can use so this movie ticket needs to send the information to log analysis at the same uh, same goes for this train ticket also and this movie ticket system needs to send the data to performance analysis this needs to send data to notification same goes for the train ticket here and this also so let's uh let's uh not expand our business just analyze this use case now you see the complexities the different arrows mobile recharge application has to know the address of this log analysis details of the services performance analysis notification and all that knowing an address is uh, a one thing but another thing is like when user is requesting for a mobile recharge it is adding a time like it mobile recharge uh, application will take some time to put the data in the log analysis performance analysis and notification service so does this really need to contribute to that latency that user is requesting actually it is not because all the basic things that is like request validation calling the third party putting the data in the database is already done so log analysis performance analysis notification can happen in the back end and we can respond uh, we can just make sure that it is going to be there but 
let not user wait for the response from these services this this thing we call asynchronous communication like some things will happen on the back end but user does not have to wait for that so we, we talked about the problems now let's let's talk about how we can solve it so i want you uh, i want couple of more minutes you to just to give you a real life scenario so let's consider that you have some property and you want to sell it so you have to look for different buyers so in this scenario let, let's say there is no third party or something and you just directly go to you just you just, just directly have to look for the buyers of the property you can realize how difficult it can be to find the suitable buyer right now put yourself on the other side you 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 want to buy some property and uh, you have to look for sellers again do not use any third party or any agency just look for the sellers now you realize how difficult it is so how did it solve there is middle third party here like what we call real estate agents uh, we call them broker also so they have information about both the things sellers and buyer so whoever like interested in buying a property they go directly not going to sellers but they are directly going to the these uh, brokers these real estate agencies and they get all the information try to apply this thing in our scenario as well we have these application that you were seeing like mobile recharge movie ticket train ticket they are producing some messages they are producing some events and log analysis performance analysis notification they just need to listen that they just need to process that as per their availability so we can have something in between here here which we can call the same way that we are calling as a broker we are also can call this broker so mobile recharge movie ticket train ticket instead of calling directly log analysis perform analysis they can put their messages in this broker and log analysis performance analysis notification and n number of other services like analytics application they can listen to this broker they can contact this broker and ask for the messages whenever they are available so it solves lots of problems that is where this kafka and not in only kafka the generic term is a broker it's it's a design pattern actually for the asynchronous communication it is called a message broker so message broker is there to establish these kind of communication when you do not user doesn't have to wait for the response uh, for, for those uh, those features okay so individual application are going to send the messages to this broker and wh whoever is interested in getting those events they are listening there is a lot internal about this broker how it works that is what we are going to see in, in this entire series of the kafka but as of now you get the gist right so broker is a solution for us someone who where we can send the information and it will and i know that it will be processed on the back end side so apart from kafka there are other tool as well right rabbit mq active mq apache pulsar is there and kafka is one of that application so now question is like why we choose kafka why not others so we'll analyze the pros and cons and specific use cases in further series of videos uh, or end of the series but i won't leave it because this is the very important thing i'll talk about it so for now i think uh, i hope i have given you the gist of what it is and how we can solve the problem and how kafka is fitting in our application uh, and how it is contributing like the problems that we talked about like too much load latency and uh, overwhelming the application with too much requests so all these problems we can solve with this broker okay so our application will look like this now so masses producers masses consumers message producers will send the messages to broker and message consumers will listen from this broker this broker is now uh, now in the series we'll call this broker as a kafka so with that i would like to end this video see you in the next one when we'll, we'll see the introduction to kafka what is this what it is feature and what its advantages and all of that details so see you in the next one thank you for your time